The humans have always looked up at the stars and wondered, what's out there? Are we alone? This makes us want to explore space. We send robots to faraway planets. We build big telescopes to look deep into space. Exploring space is part of who we are. But our curiosity doesn't stop there. We dream of living on other planets, colonizing Mars or even beyond. The idea of space colonies fascinates us. Could we really make another planet our home? The journey to another world is our next great adventure. Not just any planet will do. We need a planet that's just right. Like finding the perfect spot on a beach, not too sunny, not too shady. It needs liquid water, air we can breathe, and maybe even some protection from dangerous space rays. Mars is a good choice, but it needs some fixing up. But how do we find these planets? We use powerful telescopes like Kepler and TESS to scan the skies. They look for tiny dips in starlight, which could mean a planet is passing in front of its star. And when we find one more, the real adventure begins. Getting to another planet and living there requires amazing technology. We need strong rockets, homes that can take care of themselves, and ways to grow food in alien dirt. It's a huge engineering challenge that will make us think in new ways. But with determination and innovation, we can overcome these obstacles and make space colonization a reality. The future of humanity could be among the stars. So, can humans live on Mars? Let's talk about the hurdles we have to jump over. First, up radiation. Earth has a magnetic field, like a superhero shield, that protects us from harmful space rays. Mars doesn't. So, anyone living there would get a hefty dose of radiation. Not good. Next, gravity. Mars has way less gravity than Earth. Imagine bouncing around like you're on the moon all the time. Sounds fun, but it could make our bones and muscles weak. Then there's the resource problem. No supermarkets on Mars. We'd have to figure out how to make our own air to breathe, grow our own food and find water. That's a lot of work, and the technology getting to Mars is hard enough. But then we need spaceships that can carry tons of stuff, special houses to live in, and ways to dig up resources. We're still working on all of that. Oh, and did I mention the cost? This whole Mars trip would be unbelievably expensive. But wait, before you say it's impossible, there are some really cool reasons to go to Mars. Think about the science. We could learn so much about the universe and maybe even find signs of alien life. Whoa! Plus, Mars might have valuable stuff like special rocks and water ice that we could use. And get this, Mars could be like a backup Earth. If something really bad happened here, like a giant asteroid, we'd have another place to live. Pretty smart, huh? Finally, just thinking about going to Mars makes people excited about science and technology. It could bring the whole world together to work on something amazing. So, what's the future of living on Mars? It's definitely a tough challenge, but Lots of smart scientists and inventors think it can happen someday. We need to keep working on better rockets, ways to live in space, and how to use what Mars has to offer. It's a long way off, but maybe, just maybe one day, some of you watching this will be living on Mars.